afternoon everybody i hope everybody's doing well this is david with techfront.net for wednesday 3 17 of 2021 sorry i haven't been available the last few days i've been a little bit under weather but i have been watching the technology news and we've got a few interesting things to talk about today let's kind of take a minute and step back to yesterday yesterday was a big deal in technology monday kind of sent out some leaks and we've got some interesting things to talk about processors 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 intel has come out with the rocket lake series which is the 11th gen intel chip up to five gigahertz from what i'm seeing i've seen some be overclocked say they can be overclocked to just a little bit higher than that don't know that you will see that very often due to cooling. You may see that in a desktop series where you have liquid cooling or a really nicely cooled case. Doubt you're going to see that much in the laptop versions. AMD announced the professional version of their Ryzen 5000 series chips to combat what Intel put out. I mean, it, it's it's an interesting war between those two, and we don't even need to throw Snapdragon into the mix. They're doing some interesting things. They um, say they've got some 12-core and some 16-core chips coming. Kind of leads us into the Mac area of the MX1 or whatever you're going to call it. Um, you know, there, there's some YouTubers out there saying the 12 core is on the way, the 12 core is on the way, the 12 core is going to do this, the 12 core is going to do that. And we already know that Apple has discontinued the iMac Pro. Kind of saw that one coming. You know, really didn't expect them to keep that device around too much. I, don't, I, I personally, I don't know anybody that bought one. I thought about buying one at one point. Um, but then I realized the price to value ratio with them starting at $49.99 or $5,000 was just not, it, it, it never made sense in the budget. And to be honest, the, not to go too far off topic here, the Mac Pros don't make sense in many budgets unless you are a professional, and when I say professional, a TV grade creator. Most YouTube creators can do without a Mac Pro. The fact that you shaved a 30 second time off a render is a big deal if you render many times a day. Not many people do. Here we are. Um, you know, so you've got, you've got to be making some income to get those. It's going to be interesting to see what those 11th gen chips do. Um, a very popular YouTuber friend that I have, uh, Paul Throt mentioned the XE graphics this morning on his podcast. And I have spoke of them in the past and I'm going to bring them up again. I'm in agreement with Paul here. I think we have a big opportunity here for XE graphics. As he mentioned, they can do low 1080p gaming. That is a big deal. We've never had that before. As he mentioned, I think UHD graphics are on their way out. They should have been gone before now, if you ask me. They should have been gone before now. So it's nice that we can possibly later next month when they're announced pick up a Surface Book or a Surface Laptop 4 with some sort of graphical horsepower. Right now, to me, they're desktop class, everyday working, email, web work type machines. Every once in a while, you need a little bit of graphic oomph, if you will, maybe to render out a short video you know, or do something like that. It's nice to see that we have XE graphics slowly coming on board to help make that happen. The other interesting announcements um, are more gaming related, more entertainment related, so you don't have to worry about such deep detail from me. We have EA Play 
is finally coming to PC. Finally. It was announced back in December that it was going to release. It kind of had the plug pulled on it. Nobody really knew why. The rumor is that EA wanted to get their own app out there that you sign into from the Xbox store to access those games. Now, I'm assuming that is to allow them to be able to control the data, get control of the data, and use that data to sell you other things. I mean, that makes sense. And I'm going to say it again. For $16.99 a month, you know, Game Pass is the way to be. Game Pass is where it's at. PlayStation fans, I'm sorry, I hear you, but Game Pass is where your content is. Microsoft is buying studios. They recently, in our last video, acquired Bethesda and did so quickly. As soon as it was approved, those titles were out there on Game Pass. We've got EA Play for Xbox, part of Game Pass. That was $29.99 a year. Now we've got EA Play. For PC coming to Game Pass, that is $14.99 a month, $99 a year. As of right now, it's very simple. The value per dollar is insane. It's just insane. Because look at all the value you're getting. You're getting your live subscription, you're getting Game Pass. Hundreds of games on the Xbox side are already in Game Pass. Now now, now you've got EA coming into it. They bought up Bethesda. Who knows what Microsoft is going to do next? They didn't get EA Game Pass for nothing. Microsoft either had to do some hard selling that Game Pass is going to make EA a lot of money, or Microsoft has had to write a check to make this happen. EA Play has always, in my opinion, done well. Battlefield is out there. The Need for Speed, the Star Wars Squadrons for the folks that like it. The Madden players, we have finally got a, you know, a, a regular PC game. I imagine those EA servers tomorrow, it's supposed to launch, they say around 2 p.m. I imagine those servers are going to be very busy. Very busy. Let's see. Let's see what else we have for today. I was, you know, really excited to see that for EA. I do see where Steam has announced a new client that is more efficient with caching and saves up to three times more disk space. I have a Steam membership. I have quite a few games over there. I will be checking that one out. Let's see, Microsoft Teams has put in a few minor upgrades. I did see that. Xbox headset, I knew I was leaving something out. Xbox headset, that new headset with um, Dolby Atmos is out. Reviews say that is a nice headset for just $99. If you've not checked it out, check one out. I'm going to put one on order and we'll review it here on the channel. We'll see what we think of it. And we will go from there, folks. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope everybody's staying safe. We'll be back with another video or two this afternoon. I've got some interesting things on tap, some interesting things to talk about. And we will see you next time. If you would, you know, I understand that we're new and I understand how things go. Everybody's saying like the video, click here, click there. You know, we're, we're really trying to put out good consumer content news recaps and keep it simple for consumers. If you would, please click the like button on our video. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. We would appreciate it. It kind of gives us a little boost and gets us up a little higher in the algorithm. Much appreciated, folks. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.